Anyway, so if we go talk to the magic shop. Ooh, we've got a gnome! Narek Saeed, Aloha Oi! Welcome in, Gazuntai, Tip a Canoe, and how do you do? What on earth? Pleased to meet you, and I mean to please you! Welcome to my little shop of wonders. Wonder what shop it is? It's magic, of course! <laughs> I am keep on laughing! Proprietor! You must be noble cause! Proud to know you, Mr. Cause. You are the worst human being I'm, alive. I'm not a human being. I'm a stupid gnome. It's sad, Dad, but if you need to climb the sublime, you need a rope, don't. Wow. I have now a magic rope for sale, direct from some Hindu who did the best he can do. <laughs> <laughs> this is just, this is guys right up your alley. Is he so racist? No, no, just terrible puns. <laughs> anyway, so you can buy a rope from this. If I had magic, I could also buy all these magic spells, but I do not. And I don't even think I have enough for this rope. Let's see. Eh. Ooh, smooth talking, dude. You got the gift for the gab tab. Get on the bus, Gus. No need to discuss much. <laughs> Set yourself free. <laughs> okay, we can't buy the rope yet. I don't have enough money. But... If you know some knowledge about the magic way, then go and see Aziza, who will you, 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 you. <laughs> Watch out, she's testy, though. So long farewell, Oaf. We the same. What? <laughs> Goodbye. The same. See you real soon, Effendi Cause. I like you. Um. <laughs> also, he had, he had the severed head of Cookie Monster on the wall. What? Go back. I want to see it. <laughs> Over there. Oh. Right there. <laughs> <laughs> That's oh, and he has a Pillsbury Doughboy. Did you notice that? Oh, yeah. <laughs> it's a hand puppet labeled Cookie Monster. Oh, that's a little on the nose. And Cthulhu. The Michelin Man? The Stay Puft Marshmallow Man? No, it's the Doughbury Pillsboy. Terrible. Because apparently, um, Michelin <laughs> could, we, we, we could afford the, uh, the licensing rights to Michelin, but not to Pillsbury Dough. What about, what about, uh, Cthulhu there? Cthulhu? You don't want to. <laughs> That's great. Oh, and I got the the Groucho uh, glasses, funny nose and glasses. Oh, yeah, this was Keep On's biggest fan until things took a turn for the worse. I get it. Get it. It's a joke about things. The text is Ali Faker, genuine X-ray glasses, fifteen dinars. Dinars. Like, you just you should epoch. Hasta la pasta. Bring those nachos. See you soon, raccoon. <laughs> Well, that was painful. Um, so, I'm still trying to tell you what the point of this game is, but things keep happening. Okay. So, let's uh, go visit this place. This is the apothecary. He's much less annoying than the gnome. Ah, oh, I did not notice you come in. This is the apothecary. We can buy pills and oils. Anyway, he's just basically... Uh, his name is Harik Atar. I was well named. Um... <laughs> You can ask him about stuff, but it's not terribly exciting. So you can buy healing potions, vigor potions, poison cure potions, mana pills, which do nothing, or oil. We need to buy some oil, because we're the thief. And the cobbler. I mean, the doodler. <laughs> and haggle with everyone. Your haggling is better. Oh, I forgot to show off the stats. So here's our stats. The haggling is better if you have a communication skill that's higher. <laughs> What? 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 They say? What? You're laughing at things that were funny. Oh, uh, just um, my, the sister has no idea what the point of this game is, and I keep not explaining it. <laughs> <laughs> the point of this game is you are a hero, and Shapir is fine, but Rasir, which is the sister city, needs a hero. Um, they need a hero. Uh, till the morning light. <laughs> he's got to be good. He's, he's got to be, be strong, strong, and he's got to be fresh from the fight. Um, I'm just wandering down random streets while, because I'm trying to think. So, um, there's a caravan leaving for Rasir in, um, like, two weeks, Ooh. according to game time. But I wanted to go to Brazier now. This is day one. Um, and so before two weeks, and there will be things that happen within those two weeks, but we got two weeks to kind of take in the sights and sounds of Shapir and train up and... And wacky things will happen in the meantime. <laughs> well, like that gnome. He was pretty wacky. Oh, speaking of things, sister, check your couch. I <laughs> I, I, I left my pen. I think I just we, did when, a loop. When we visited you. It's a black 
It's an all-black pen, and it's in the one brown couch. How now, brown couch? That your sick daughter was sitting on. She's telling you to go buy a brassiere. Oh, oh, I will if you go find my pen. Now, there's a keyboard shortcut I can press to bring up the map, and I forget what it is. Uh, M? Is it M? No. But I really ah, like that pen, and that I, was need not it. It. I need it for good things. Um, that's, okay, that's my stats. H is a compass. That happened. Uh, ah, there's my inventory. That's the old style inventory. Ivy's using it to do math, I'm afraid. Oh. There's the well, time. at least you guys have oh, found it. That's it. If I can get it back, that would be great. <laughs> anyway, so while we talk about your pen, because that's important. It is important. I use it for doodling. I'm the doodler. Oh, that's awkward. So we need to find out where the Adventurer's Guild is, because that will give us our quests. What is I... our quest? To it's follow to... that star. Uh, just click on the no matter how. Hey, look, it's a lion uh, centaur. Lion tar. Lion tar. It's not a cheetah. His name is this. My name is R Rasha Rakish Atarna. I'm called Rakish because it's easier. I am of the Lion Tar people. For Aslan. <clears throat> the Sultan summoned me to Shapir to aid against the dark magic which even now hovers near the city. I fear, though, that I'm not the hero I once I was once. Perhaps you will become the hero they need, Simba. I mean, uh, but not the hero they deserve. <laughs> I was trying more go go um Lion King. Lion King. Anyway, so the the basic gist of this guy is he uh, Lion Tars are proud warriors. Um, Rasir is a bad place. Laws have become more important than men, and it has become a crime to think. It's nineteen eighty four land over there. Hey, potato dudes here. What's up, potato? Uh, nobody ever goes Rasir, and it's depressing. And also, the desert's full of monsters. Isn't the desert always full of if monsters? If we were the fighter, we'd get points for going out and killing them. I'll probably go out and kill them anyway. Uh, this is the Adventurer's Guild. Uh, Rakish here used to do a lot of adventuring, but then he, he's got a bum leg now when he was fighting a demon. You know how it goes. Yeah, Lion Ta fights a demon, he gets a bum leg. Oh, and a wizard, apparently. And a wizard at the same time. The wizard turned out to be a demon. <laughs> it was a demon wizard. It's the best of both, the worst of both. Anyway. This story doesn't make sense. Bloodly, bloodly blue. Anyway, the point of him is he's a paladin. Now, you might ask. What's a paladin? The way of the paladin is to seek to know that which truly is. The paladin strives to learn his own inner nature and that of others. The paladin does whatever needs to be done to bring light to the world. The paladin? Not for glory, not for gain. The paladin becomes a paladin because it is his will. Oh, so it's not a quest for glory. The will is the very essence of yours. Only if you want to become a paladin. We're a thief, so we're pretty much automatically disqualified from becoming a paladin. It's the quest for... Te technically a thief can become a paladin if he doesn't do anything that makes a thief a thief but what's the point of that anyway i don't know what is it this is uhura Bwah. that's who she is Ooh, i don't even know her <laughs> uhura i don't even know her see i be uhura i be honored to use visit here <laughs> I, I cannot do this accent. Don't ask me to do a, a stereotype 1940s black woman accent, please. Please don't ask me to do it because I will fail. Would you please do it? No. You do it. No. You read, you read this person. This this wall of text about Simbanis. My people be very far from here. I'll be Simbani warrior, but Simbani woman can't be wife and warrior. So I've been coming to Shapir to find father so I can be a child. Now I have Simba and still cannot remain Simbani warrior. You, you get me? Fried chicken. There you go. There. Yes, I totally went there. I, I just, okay, I'm sorry. That was um not quite what I expected. <laughs> anyway, now we've signed our name into the book. Let's actually look at the quests we can do. Um, so they're on the wall here in the Adventurers Guild. We've got the following quests for glory. Are you ready? For science. Uh, you spelled it right the first time. 
Uh, see, they will be given to the one who restores the Emir Arus al-Din to his rightful place in the palace uh, to receive the sum of 1,000 dinars. Dinars! Dang it, I said it wrong. Uh, by and it's al-Din also. By order of the Sultan, and we looked this up the other day, Harun al-Rashid, remember him? That sounds very familiar. He was an actual person, yes. Yes, he was an actual person. He was person. like over the Ottoman Empire. Right. right. There's also a butt crack, uh... Going on, <laughs> there, there really is. <laughs> it's creepy. Okay, we've also got the following quest. He's willing to brave the desert should seek Harik Atar in his shop at the sign of the Morden Pestle by the Fountain. That one shall find rewards for his courage. We got to talk to the apothecary again about glory. There's also need for a spell of great power. There's need for a spell of great power. The whirling part of a dervish. Inquire at the magic shop. Keep on laughing. Ugh. The way of the Peloton to, uh, to whatever. Um, oh, and you should also do service to the city and know the rewards of goodness. Goodnosity. Goodnosity. Okay, well, Uhura's two things. One, she talks in a terrible accent. And two, she is your fighting instructor. Ooh. So. And I thought she just had one job on the ship. <laughs> and it was stupid, but she was going to do it. Our hailing frequencies are open. Let's, um... Okay, basically... Even though we're not a warrior, we still need to do combat. So, let me show you how combat works. Are you ready? It's I it's guess fun. I have to be. I'm not even going to do the tutorial, because I'm just going to challenge her. Okay, so in combat, here's how it goes. Ooh, Uhura is going to get you real good. <laughs> Go, Uhura! So... Yeah, ah! you think you got... You've get basically got five lines that you can stand in, bottom to top. You can swing like that. Um, you move backwards and forwards. And she goes in a lot. You can also duck with two, because I'm using the knock pad. Uh, you can, uh, Look at that you can dodge, dodge left and dodge right, like that. Just dancing. You can also throw daggers, but not in Uhura, because she doesn't like it when you do that. But she, she's kind of in beginner mode right now. I still think she's going to win because... So you've got your health, you've got your stamina, and you've got your magic. Uh, Uhura just drains your stamina because she's just in practice mode. I got her! My first time through! That's the power of grinding. Ooh, and I did a victory pose. You very fast learner. Considering this is the first time ever I've done it. And you press Q to throw daggers. That can be done multiple times. Um, <laughs> why is there a baby there? Oh, that's right. Let's talk to the baby. Goo goo ga ga goo. What on earth? That's a picture of you, apparently. And then the baby says, Poltergeist make up the principal types of ah! material manifestations. <laughs> no, and then baby says, dance, magic, dance. <laughs> dance, magic. He's just showing off. Okay. It's cute. Anyway, the shield, the EOF. It's the logo of the Eternal Orders of Fighters. Uh, it says, If you got real guts and don't know the meaning of fear. If you got real muscles, don't take guff from no one. Oh, I thought it was a... Rhyme. A rap. It didn't rhyme. <laughs> if you got a real weapon, know how to use it. Then maybe you're good enough to join the Eternal Orders of Fighters. Got a real weapon, know how to use it. Ha cha 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 Word to your mother if you don't abuse it. We pick only the best to join and we'll be watching you. So don't just be good. Be great. Be a member of, yeah, oof. But don't take my word for oof. it. Eternal Order of Fires. The fighters. The guts. The glory. The greatest. Guess what? We can't join it because we're not a fighter. So screw you, EOF. Yeah. Stay at a Riverdale. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, so this guy over here, he sells leather things. The finest in leather work what I sell to you, hero, from a distant land. My leather is noted the world over for its beauty and durability. Ooh, that sounds sinful. A little bit, yeah. But we've got to buy some water skins from this dude. Like, seven. Because water. Crusty. <laughs> water crusty? No, the way you said it. All right, so now we've, now we've got seven water skins, so we can run around to the desert if we want to. Oh, <laughs> Tony the Tiger is the fighting master. <laughs> you should be a paladin. We're great. <laughs> Eat frosted flakes. All right. <laughs> and here's Isur. This is my weapon shop. I make the best swords and daggers. 
What do you want? Is he Ron Jimbo? <laughs> hey, he's been chatting. <laughs> that was, that's the Forgotten Sword was Ron, actually. I figured it out finally. But I don't know if he's in chat anymore. Anyway. Oh, thank goodness. I mean, we love you, Ron. He's Isser of the House of Usher. I think it fell. Yeah. Anyway, his the point of him is he sells you better swords and stuff. I don't think... Yeah, you can't actually buy the sword unless you're a fighter. But you can buy some more daggers. You know, if that's that's kind of your, your deal. It is my deal. Grizzly Adams did have a beard. That's right. Anyway, so now we got some more daggers. How many daggers do we have? I'll take 12. No, we have 10. 10 is not 12. I'm sorry. Oh, you're right. I am a fool. You should learn to control your temper. <laughs> <laughs> What am I, the beast? <laughs> Sorry. Anyway, the Plaza of the Palace... You stay out is, of the West Wing. ...is the only plaza we haven't been to. We've got a jewelry seller over here whose name is Shash... Sashanon. Sashanon. Ooh. Sashanon? Sashan off. Right. Mm. That guy's Tiram, the carpet merchant. Oh, I should look at everyone so I know what all their silly names are. I mean, um, perfectly respectable. Hey, man. It's This game is less adventure and more RPG... Uh, Elisa. It is an RPG. It's right up your alley. So that's why it's got, like, stats and things and fighting and stuff. Yeah, stats. <laughs> it's not errand running. In fact, it's less errand running than most uh, adventure games are. It's less fetch quests. It's less errand running than our Pathfinder screen. <laughs> well, that's true. But if we go to the end of the Street of Stars, we can find the Astrologer. Come in, come in, Hassan, come in. Oh, that is not you, is it? It's hard for me to tell at such a distance. That's why I wear glasses. It's stereotypical. <laughs> mm -hmm. Come in anyway, and welcome. I'm Abu al Nijin, and I'm the astrologer of the stars and omens. <laughs> Who are you that I might know you? Oh, that's right, we got time count typing our name. Count five. Come in and know me better, man. Call me Ishmael. Ah, oh, Count Five Fingers is indeed a name for heroes. It's not like Zork. What? <laughs> um, it is well that you have come, sir. <laughs> Chat was saying, it's like Zork. No, it's not. The sign showed we need a hero here. All right, so uh, let me tell you about myself. Greet. Oh, let me talk to you. I've been stargazing still a little. There's so much to learn from astrology. Astrology, yeah, we know what astrology is. Do we? Yes. Let's 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 learn our fortune. If you wish to know your fortune, I would need to know your guiding signs. Tell me about your past and the things that you have done. Okay, so now we can tell them about our past. Here's what happened. I fought a Baba Yaga and uh, I don't know a, a frost guy. And I a Yagan Baba. I threw a drink in the face of a cute girl and she turned into a baroness. It was pretty cool. The first RPG? That's a good question. I don't know the answer to that. What was the very first? The very first RPG ever. Like um, uh, like video game? Like RPG? video game. Because the very first RPG RPG was probably Dungeons and Dragons. Probably. Um, video game? I don't know. I'd have to look that up. Anyway, so basically the point of this guy is he tells you your fortune. Also, he has a rebus on the wall. Can you figure it out? A rebus? Yeah, over here. You figure that out? Remind me what a rebus is. It's this, where it's, it makes well, a phrase out of pictures. Okay, there you go. <laughs> so, it's P plus kaboom minus the M. Then, um, an eyeball. Uh, Peekaboo, I, I see you. Yeah, there you go, you figured it out. Don't, oh, we also dance with the fairies. That was true. <laughs> the stars are all out of place compared to Spielberg. Where the heck is this place? And we can't go in the school ladder. It leads to his observatory. There's fly wings on the floor and so on. That's Willie's secret place. If you need to know more about the future, visit me again when it arrives. The future? Then we'll already know! You're the worst astrologer ever. <laughs>